Yo, yo, what is up? What is happening? You already know what time it is, so listen up. We're going to be taking Miss Anna Marie here, and we're going to be testing her to her limits, seeing what she's truly capable of. We're going to be pop locking, dropping, CTP swapping. Yes, so we're going to we're gonna take her into some gameplay. We're going to take her into null. We're going to take her into squad battle, and we're going to we're gonna test her out with, with the judgment, and then I'm gonna swap judgment for for either rage or uh, or one of these forge energies. I, I, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try all three, and then if we have time, I'll even take her into some uh, some PVP action. Um, if we don't get to the PVP in this video, it'll certainly be in the very next video or one of the very next videos. In any case, um, and some people asking me to test her out with a uh, they said with a brilliant. Um, but the thing is with brilliance, they're 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 very hard to come by. You can't ju you can't just get one. It's it's by chance, and um, your, your your better chances of actually getting one is 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 trying to get one when it's the it's the double chance up, right? The two times success instead of having you know uh, seven percent up, it, it's fourteen. Um, given that you actually use um, five additional CTPs for fodder, so um, I, I can do a mighty. I can do a mighty. Um, uh, regen where I don't use any additional CTPs for fodder and just and just forge one. I'll do that. You already know what time it is. It's time for the sneaky bandit to pop in here and do his thing. Uh, and as a matter of fact, you're gonna see him uh, a few times throughout the video, and you'll know it's a sneaky bandit because he's gonna have the glasses on. So uh, what I wanted to do was I almost forgot to test her out with the uh, with the old uniform just to see how she stacks up, in, in, especially for Null, because you know if it's working out the same way that it worked out for 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 Namor with the elemental damage, we'll get a better picture and a better idea, right? Um, but she, she does have some, you know, just because she has the accumulation on her new uniform, you know, that, that's going to make, excuse me, that's going to make a big difference. So, um, we're going to be testing her out with this uniform as well. And, and the thing of it is, I actually had already gotten done with everything. This is after the fact she has the energy on. So I'm going to be making the ultimate sacrifice and I'm actually going to put rage back on her to do, to do the testing here um but like i said i think judgment might be what ends up on her ultimately but you know we'll throw the rage back on her just so we can get a good idea of, of where things where things actually stand so um expect some clips of her with the energy and and the rage um judgment's not going to work for her right just because well she she's got chill on her fourth and then she's got you know some she's got the elemental damage on her tier three but um i i don't i don't think that i don't think that would be good so in any case, back to your broadcasting, um, and so so yes, and and also her build. So I'll, I'll take her into some gameplay with um, with the current build, and then I'll actually build her up as well. I'll build her up as well, so this way we can see the difference. So so this is what I'll do. First off, I'll take her into some gameplay with with the judgment, um, and. Then we'll come. We'll come back out. I'll, I'll finish her urus off because all I did, I'd actually I haven't touched her since since the last video. One thing I did was I amplified all her gears just to save a little bit of time, and then I'll fully build her up, and then um, take her back in and seeing what you know the additional like Odin's blessings and and all that actually get you. And then you know we're gonna swap out the judgment for rage, and then. Um, because she might actually work with with an energy. She might actually work because most of her damage is on her tier three. It's like that's basically like where all her damage is, and there's a lot of damage on it. So she could actually could actually work with one. We're we're gonna try that out. All right, but first, and and, and okay, so you know every, everyone thinks when I say the buff first, we're going to comments and we're going to um, we're going to some, some roast. Um, I, I'm I I have two I have two. Um, I have two comments. One being, one being like an account lookup, and I'm gonna save that to the very end of the video. I think what I'm actually gonna start doing on that is I'm going to dedicate just like maybe one video every like five or six videos, maybe just like one a week, um, to and and I'll get to I don't know, do like ten or, or fifteen, you know, account lookup, something like that. So you could still comment and leave your IGN, you know, just like you've been doing, uh, and I'm I'm just I'll, I'll pull like. 10 or 15 throughout the week and then we'll just dedicate one video to to that i think that's going to be the better way to do it so 
Um, a couple things that um, I want to do before we actually go into the gameplay is I got more of these chests here. These seem to be some pretty good chests. For, you know, you get a lot of bang for your buck. So let's go ahead. Let's pop these open. I know people, um, that's a good start. The feathers, I mean, typically those aren't good, but, you know, I could use them to um, to finish off Nightcrawler. But we're getting these five star cards. That's that's definitely not good. We're not we're not our luck's not so great. Okay, it's turning around. It's turning around. I like it. All right. And, and more feathers here. I think we're about done here. Yep, that's it for those. Uh it seems like it's actually not all that bad. Not all that bad. I should have probably just popped all these other chests before I actually started this. Okay, almost done here. Anytime now, anytime. Okay. Awesome. So what, what, what do we actually get? We got one, two, three, four, and five. Five, six star, and then three, five star out of how many? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Out of fourteen, we got five, uh, five mythic, and then three, five star. Not not too shabby. Some feathers and some, some rogue bios, which I don't need currently right now okay and then next what we're gonna do is um so i, I almost did this um you know not recording it is i want to try to get another one of these guys so i'm i'm gonna assume the worst i'm gonna assume that we're just gonna have to we're just gonna go to pity and um and and, and yeah so let's let's go ahead let's get started here that's one that's two you already know before it actually actually comes right so three i've usually been going to pity on these so well, we already know. So three more times. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I don't know. If they decrease the chances. Got a greed. Okay. So that's... um. And then, and then the energy. So out of the 10, we got a greed and energy. And we, we went to pity to actually get it. We'll do one more for good luck. And two more for good luck. No. Okay. That's it. Uh, I told you the sneaky bandit was going to be popping in and making a few appearances here. So um, you, you saw me uh, do pulls and I, and I pulled the pity. Uh, after the fact, I actually did it again. And I'm, I'm starting to get in the habit of actually recording this stuff so you guys can see. So let's see exactly how lucky I get. I go, I go to pity once more. So before, it was just greed and one energy, right? Going to pity. So I got an authority there. Nothing there. We got an, uh, an insight. Nothing there. And then on the last one, we actually get two energies. I say all in all, pretty darn good. All right, back to your broadcasting. No fun of that. All right, so I mean, it, it, at least at least it got the greed out of the deal too. But I mean, I, I kind of expected to go to pity. But lately, when I've been doing that, it's been it's been going to pity. Although I did I did a bunch of pulls when it was all CTP uh, chance up, and I think I used about I think I used like twenty thousand crystals, and I ended up getting I got I got I got at least ten CTPs, and and two of them were were energies, or or three of them might have been energies, but I know I got at least ten. I think it was ten or eleven uh, 20 twenty thousand crystals, which I thought was was a pretty good drop rate on that. I know like. You know, you don't necessarily want to do it then because you're not guaranteed the actual CTP that you want. But you know, um, so so you know, you got you got to kind of weigh weigh it out, right? Um, if you're not too concerned with exactly which ones you're getting, you just you know you want to get CTPs. I don't know if you want to go for a mighty or or whatever the case may be. Um, so you can you can try to base your decision off of that. All right. Now we're gonna take, um, yeah, like I said, we're gonna take Rogue first. We're gonna take her into, uh, we're gonna take her into Null, and try her out. So I actually did some runs. I, I did, I did a little, um, I did a little, uh, uh, you know, experimenting with her, with her rotation. Some people shot me some suggestions in, in the comments, and, and a little bit different than what I was doing. Um, we're doing something like we're doing like three cancel four. And you cancel in the five when she slams down. Now somebody made a suggestion you cancel five right away into the two, but um, I kind of like sitting in the five just for a second. But let's give this another go. Uh, see if we can clock this in a little bit faster. Like I said, you know, I was I was doing this uh, earlier. I think I actually have it recorded. Maybe I'll just throw that one up. Um, we gotta wait for the purple there. I don't know. Maybe it's just one of those really good runs. Seems like right there when he pushes you back, if you hit the two at the right time, you can actually avoid that. 
you, you'll like basically you, you basically like just like bounce right back at him. Uh, yeah, I gotta hit this two once um, I get unstuck here. I hit this two this way I can use the um, the tier three on this next rotation here. But yeah, essentially, I mean, look at all the damage that's on her tier three. That's essentially what you want to do. You just want to get that up as soon as possible and use it as much as possible. I think she's she's gonna do some serious work in squad battle. Some serious work. She's gonna outscore Deadpool like crazy. <laughs> like Deadpool, I think um, I was. Um, what was I scoring with him? I think on a, like a good run, it was, I don't know, like 2.8 or something like that. We can get a proc here. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. What is that? Three. Okay. 346. That, that seems, that seems, you know, more in the ballpark. Um, you know, like I said, I was able to do it a little bit faster earlier, but you, um, I, I think that's good enough. I think that's fair. I think that's on average where you're actually going to be at. All right, so let's go ahead now and let's let's fix her build, right? Just so you can see, because I, I can't necessarily. I mean, okay, so essentially I could do this. I could now go back into. I, I could take the rage, or I could take judgment off, put rage on her, and energy with the current build. Um, but you know, you wouldn't necessarily. And then I, I I guess when I have the last CTP on her, then switch the build and then go back in. But I'm just going to do it now. I'm going to do it now and then go back in and see what the difference is. And then we'll, and then we'll, we'll swap all the CTPs. This way you guys can you know, see whether or not if you actually want to give her a max build. See what, see what it's actually getting you. Um, I feel like it could be different you know, depending on what characters you have. All right, let me go. Let me, let me uh, switch this up. So here, I'll show you what it is now. And then you'll see what it is when I come back. All right, here we go. We're back. I went ahead and um, I, I switched out some of her Uru here. She has, she has 14 Odin's Blessings and then all of the non-Odin's Blessings, their mythic physical attack Uru because she deals physical damage. And thing is with... Uh, okay, so uh, you know one thing I'm confused about is like, okay, so she gets the all attack defense and then speed buff, but no crit rate. I mean, when's the last character? And this is for X twenty three too. Neither of these characters have a uh, have a have a crit rate buff. Um, so you actually want to go ahead and you want to get their crit rate as high as possible. Um, her crit rate right now is seventy. I mean, it, it's it, seventy three and a half. It, it, it's definitely close enough, um, according to me. Um, you know, she has judgment on. Once we put rage on her, that'll then get increased. But you know, once she has uh, the energy. That's going to be difficult to uh, to cap off. I don't I don't know if it'll be wise to actually set her last uniform option to that. Um, <clears throat> you know, we could do some testing on that. But in any case, um, on her skill, which makes you know Rogue really you know unique, and I believe it's the same as as Captain Marvel's. Let's go ahead and check out Captain Marvel. Um, hers might be a little bit different. No, okay, it's 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 actually exactly the same, exactly the same as Captain Marvel's. Um, and what this is going to do is this is going to just like it says, increase all buffs effect by 20% and the duration by 30. So, like you know, uh, everything from CTPs to ISO weight sets, all of the all of the buffs that she actually gets, you know, um, you know, procs on on cards and so on and so forth, all that's going to be increased by the 20 20% and the duration for 30%. So, um, you know, uh, I, I think you know that could be when you put like a forged. Um, energy on her a forge regen you know then that effect essentially it, it should it should be increased by that you know 20 and 30 percent so okay so now now that i did this let's see let's see if she's able to get through null any faster than she was and then after this what i'll do is i will put uh i'll, I'll put the I, I think we'll probably do rage next and then we'll do uh energy after that so let's see what she can't got away for the purple. Yeah, we're just, you know, I can't seem to avoid getting tossed tossed around by that. Like I said, I, I think if you time it, if you time it um, just right, you can. I mean, she's doing just some amazing damage. So yeah, I like using the one after that and try to. Nah, I can't. I can't seem to get that two in there ever. But I could use it. I could use it right when she wakes up, and then the three, the four, the five, and then you just want to get that tier three back up 
moving and grooving as quickly as possible. And now, yeah, we want to try to fit in the first part of her rotation. Like I said, normally I would sit in the five for like another second. I, I like I like the the bit of damage on that, um, but we want to use that two uh, as quickly as possible. But we want to get the two in before um, you know we get trapped up there. So right there, like where that damage is, then then you can go in the two because you have a little bit of time before the three comes back off cooldown, right? If we can get a proc, if we can get a proc, there we go, there we go. Yeah, it, seem, it seems like we're definitely getting through this a bit quicker, um, for sure. It, it looks like it's, it's I'd, I'd say, at least 10 seconds. I'd say at least 10 seconds from doing that tour build, and as we all know, that stacks up. I mean, that, that should be assumed, right, that she's going to be stronger once you give her a better build. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's throw... Um, or no, we got to go in a squad battle. Let's go in a squad battle. We got a clocker time there, and then we'll do the same thing with, with rage, and we'll do the same thing with energy. So let me cue that up, and I'll be right. All right, here we go. We're at the third round here. Let's see what she can do. Definitely want to let that tier three play out. We got to run around, collect some orbs here. I don't know. I suppose that's that's okay. I'm pretty sure there's another uh, round of those orbs that are going to come out. Yep, we should be able to collect them up. There we go. So yeah, I think there's a lot of damage on the end of that, on the end of her five. Plus, if you just cancel her five right away, um, you're going to be stuck with no skills to actually even use. Stunned. I, I always hate that, right? You get stunned, and then you um, and you can't go and collect the orbs. Okay, we're gonna get out of there. Okay. No, we missed them. It's all right. If we get all these, we should be fine because we have the co-op skill to use. Okay, so we just gotta make sure we get all these. There we go. Okay, we're good. Okay, we got stunned. The worst. Okay, good. We got the proc. Very nice. There we go, using the co-op skill. I almost forgot to use it. Almost forgot. Man, she is killing it, though. I mean, she's got a lot of iframes. I love it. I mean, I think she'd be really good for PvP. I mean, I've heard some, some good things so far um, about her in PvP. Wow, over seven million. Seven million, man. Deadpool, I think on a on a good run, he was like two point eight maybe, I think I wanna say was like one of my best runs. So, yeah, as you can tell, I haven't really been, you know, uh, in it with with the, with the squad battle quite yet. Um I think I might just auto my other runs. There was a couple people that actually somebody that made it that, that commented said said they were in the same uh bracket. Um and somebody in my alliance is in the same bracket. I might take it easy this week because I don't I don't even really need the gems. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is um, okay, so seven seven point one. Um, that that's pretty good. So, okay, so now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna we're, let, let's take this off, and then we're gonna put a rage on her, and then I'm gonna queue up some world boss, some world boss legend, some null action. All right, here we go. I went ahead and I put this rage on her. And now she is actually capped on all the stats there. So let's go ahead, let's queue up some world boss, and let's see what this girl can do. All right, let's let, let's try this again here. I was having really bad luck with procs, but from the way it looks, it, um, it, it just Ray just looks like it's slower. Um, and I assume that's going to be the case, at least for me on my account with with the with the peers. Get away for the purple. There it is. Slam going to the five. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there, where you can actually get back rather quickly after he slams down. You wait to hit the two there. Okay, so this should be, you know, this looks like a good proc. Can, 
right when, exactly when we wanted it to. And we want to not get trapped up. Okay, I'll take that. So if we can get a proc here. Get a proc, okay. I mean, better late than never, right? Okay, I'm kind of off proc a little bit. It's okay. Proc, there we go, okay. I think we're still behind though, quite a bit. Yep. But yeah, I mean, I, th I think there's good damage on her five, letting that play out for a second. Yeah, I mean, we were finishing right about now with the judgment, right? Yeah, we, we were already done. But essentially, we should get there on this next rotation, maybe. We can get a proc. We can get a proc. There we go. Okay. I mean, obviously I'm going to finish this out, but it, it's already it's already slower. Okay, so one more tier 3 then. We, we need. Man, look how much slower this is. Look how much slower. Wow. Okay. And we're still not even done. Still not done. Still not. Wow. Okay, 315. 315. We went from 3... 50 right um to 315 i'll have to look and see what the exact time was i usually write it down but um so 315 is with rage for null all right let's let's see let's see what it's looking like in squad battle because it, it might only affect it in in null as a matter of fact so let's go and check that out sneaky bandit strikes again all right so here's the thing here's the thing on her skills right um, she's got she's got a buff on her second for you know 40% increase to physical attack for eight seconds. Uh, the cooldown time on it is is 11, um, which is five and a half. You have max cooldown, which I do. Um, so you don't necessarily need to have that up all the time. Also on her fifth as well, um, the buff is up for 10 seconds. Yet the cooldown would be eight seconds. So you have a couple seconds uh, leeway on that. Now I'm okay. Disclaimer here. Um, I'm not going to claim to be an expert on, on Rogue's old uniform. Um, I mean, her uni new uniform, I think I have a pretty good grasp on it. Um, there's there's a nice flow to her skills. Um, but this uniform, I, I asked a couple people if they knew the rotation, and they didn't seem to know. And I personally, I don't have the time to really sit here and dissect it and figure it out um, because I'm not going to be using it anyways. I don't see why why you would. You'll, you'll, you'll see in a minute here. So I'm going to play first. Okay, so you just saw the um, the energy run, or, or the rage run, rather. First, you, you just saw the rage run. Now, I'm going to play you my rage run. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to admit, this is probably, this is very messy here, but, you know, in short order, with, you know, just the way things are right now, this is, this is the best I could do on it. So, I'm going to play it for you, and, yeah, I, like I said, um, it, it's definitely going to be messy. I really haven't found like a really good floater skills, especially with the tier three. It seems like pretty much all our damage is on our tier three, especially you know because I have the pierce on my cards. Rage is not going to be, you know, it's it's already being knocked down a tick, right? It's already being knocked down, and yeah, did this run? It's it's ra it's rather long. I'll tell you that much. It's it's definitely it's by far the longest the longest run. Yeah, by by a long shot actually. Not now that now that I think about it, by a long shot. It's yeah, it, it's very bad. But I I I found I realized that um kind of kind of uh, chaining her fifth after the tier three. There's a lot of damage on it, and I'm actually gonna watch now and see if the buff is actually being passed because I really I really wasn't paying attention to that. So. It is being passed. The buff's being passed from her tier three to her fifth. That's why. And you'll notice the the energy run that the sneaky bandit's gonna put in here as well. Um, I'm guessing that's that's what's happening. But you'll you'll definitely see it. And, and it says I think it's increased for maybe a hundred percent. I'll have to double check on you know what it actually. Hang on, I'll check right now. So it's yeah, it's for a hundred percent. But as we know, she gets the increase 
to her uh, her buffs, right? Her passive is increasing, you know, it's, it's increasing everything, right? So, yeah, like I said, I know it's probably sloppy, it's messy. I don't know anyone who's who's taken the time to figure out her rotation on her old uniform, incorporating the tier three skill into it. God bless you, man. God bless you, but. Um, th this was, I, I ran this, I don't know, I probably ran this like 10 times trying to get something decent, and I just, you know, I don't know, maybe, it, like, if ABX was open, I could run ABX, I, I could probably figure out something really good for her, but, um, playing Null, it's just, it's funky, it's messy, but, you know, at least you'll be able to get an idea, it, you know, just kind of where her damage is, right, the damage output on her skills, So I'll say it's it's not better. It's not the old uniform is not better than the new uniform in in, in any capacity. It's just it's just not. So you'll you'll see it takes us about you know we get down to two minutes thirty seconds. We'll we'll, we'll call it two minutes thirty seconds. That's where that's where we get down to on that for the for the rage run. All right, here we go. So we're, we're Rage, third round, uh, yet again. Oh, and by the way, so I actually, I, I went ahead and I, and I wanted to uh, see what, what the times actually were. And I noticed that on the Judgment before the build, it was only about five seconds slower than after the build. But um, some of the runs, I, I want to say it, 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 will, it will end up being about 10 seconds on average. Like there was a wide variation between the times that I was actually getting running um uh, like before the build running the judgment um like I, it's, some runs it was like 15 even like 20 seconds faster or, or slower however you want to uh, say it um and it's all just going to depend on you know how lucky you're getting with nulls mechanics and how lucky you're getting with the proc and, and things like that so I, I would say count on being about 10 seconds average and i know there's going to be some critics out there it wasn't intentional but i have two more um, I, I ended up going into this round with two more orbs. So there's that. Um, I, I don't think it's gonna. It's really not gonna make that much of a difference. We'll be able to see what's actually better or, or worse if you know if if Pierce is a matter of fact having the same effect in squad battle as it is in null, right? If if, if it's coming up shorter, even with uh, with two more orbs. So let's let's see what we can rock and roll here. All right, so three. I think I could even just hit the five, right? Actually, you know, I might have wanted to hit the four because there is some residual damage on that, actually. So that shock right there, that, that's continuing to, uh, to do some damage for you. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to collect... Oh, actually, we don't even need the orbs. Kind of off proc here, but hopefully it comes back up. Yep, it comes back up. Very nice. I wonder if, if it would actually be a wise idea to have the um, have the three activate, right? Like get hit by Surter. So yeah, you see that proc comes right back up. Um, same thing with Captain Marvel. If you're using um, like the correct skills, they can collect these. Very nice. Okay, maybe I should hit the three. Had that activate. There we go. That activated. I just want to get these orbs here. I got one of them. Just need one more here. Here we go. So yeah, having the five play out just like a second longer, not going straight into the two, that was a bad, um, um, is not delaying your tier three anymore, right? As long as, you know, you're still cancel, you still want to cancel four at the same exact time. We get a proc. Can we get a proc? No, no proc. Wow. So it seems like, I mean, I, there's no way you can attribute this much damage to um, to bad proc or or anything of the sort, right? Um, <clears throat> we even went in with with two additional orbs. Went in with two additional orbs and. Also, uh, yeah, so we wanted two additional orbs and we're coming up about 2,000 points short, right? 
So if you look at the high score, the run we just we just did, seven um, seven million and seven point one million, and that was about you know five was at five point two I think five point one five point two, um, so uh, you know it, it at the very least um, you know I, I'd say that. Pierce has, you know, has the same effect in uh, in squad battle as it does in in null for you. Yeah, making rage, you know, a, a bit worse. Um, I, I I can't say that, you know, judgment is is better. You know, is going to be better on everybody's account like that. But at least, you know, if, if you have if you have Pierce, that's gonna that's certainly going to be the case. All right, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take this rage off and we're going to throw on a mighty energy, right? Because if the if if the buff applies to, you know, we, we know it applies to, to CTPs, right? In, in the time that they're active and so on and so forth, um, then it should apply to the mighty effect, right? Or, or you know, the additional effect on, on, a, on a mighty. And I'm going to put this one with, um, with the 20% all attack on her and uh and, and see how see how this works out um if 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 you guys think that you know this would be effective for her, see see the thing is um you know the the beat down you know it doesn't it, it works in null it, it, i suppose it works in danger room extreme too right but um, i feel like the all attack will work in more game mode so like if if she can be used in an abx excuse me then potentially this could work there as well so Let's go ahead, let's unequip this, and we're gonna throw this one on her. This is actually, I, I, just, I, I just took that one off null, because, let's see, so I do have others, but they're old, they're, they're, they have 16%, and uh, you know, we, we wanna give her the, we wanna give her the queen's treatment, right? Um, but, you know, I'm thinking maybe, you know, test her with beatdown as well to see how that works out for her. And I gave her nulls because I was putting rage on them anyways, for ABX purposes, we'll see. Like I said, I've been saying this: if he can outscore Loki, so let's let's queue her up into some some uh, world boss. Um, actually, let me play around with the rotation real quick to see what I come up with. All right, ladies and gentlemen, jumping back into this with an energy, a forged energy, a mighty with 20% all attack. Let's see how this stacks up to rage and judgment. It's it's almost like you got to get used to the the timing with uh with the buff now with the um you know because that proc can essentially just come it's like it comes back right away so okay we definitely got it there and boy that's got some crazy damage yeah we were gonna get trapped up there we, we knew it we knew it okay nice nice i'm getting it yeah, it's like you know, like I said, you just you're just gonna you're gonna have to get used to the new proc timing with her if you're playing her with an energy. Okay, yeah, I probably shouldn't have hit the three into the four. Uh, yeah, uh, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, we're gonna wait a second. So three, four, five, and tier three. Okay, we ended up getting it. We definitely lost a little bit of time there though. So essentially, yeah, this will come back up just like right away. Can we get it? Can we get it? Okay, okay, we're getting it. And the bars are flying. Okay. Well, all that residual damage, right? Kind of going off rotation just a little bit here. Okay, we got we got messed up. We got messed up. We'll we'll, we'll call that 3:30, and that's pretty much kind of where where I've been coming up at with the energy. It seems like it seems like judgment is just at least for for null, with you know given that you have Pierce on your cards. I'm not sure how this like if you have if you have zero Pierce on your cards, you know what would actually be better, judgment or uh, or rage. Um, it doesn't really affect energy, but. I don't know. I, she's not really okay. And here's the other thing. Okay, with beatdown, I was thinking about it as I was playing her, and you're constantly in her skills. You're not running around, so it's basically like same situation as, as null, except she doesn't have a channeling skill. But you you never really have the opportunity to to, to run around, right? And that buff 
is you know you have that increased buff right so you have a longer time on it and none of her skills at least on a regular rotation they, they don't run the, the course of that whole time so um you know you're you're you, you see what i'm saying like her tier three there's um you know th that's a very long animation so on her tier three it's it's beneficial but on her regular rotation you know her five it's over like it's over like that you definitely don't you know you, you it's not it's not running the course of that whole buff so you're you're losing some potential damage that you know you would have on you know say a judgment that that's like up all the time because it's only for one attack right so I, I think that's a situation with that um I mean, I can take her in a squad battle. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll do another squad battle run. Why not? Let's jump into it. This may just, in fact, be the last time you see the Sneaky Bandit. In this video, anyways. Alright, so, you just saw the energy run with the new uniform. Now, um, I actually just, I, I pre-recorded this, um, you know, off camera. Um, just because it was just a little bit easier to do it that way. Because I had to go back. I had to, I had to retrofit all this. So I, I ran this quite a few times with energy, um, trying, you know, with this uniform, trying to get something decent. And it seemed like I was coming up with, with something. Like they just kind of kept on getting better and better. I don't know. You know, I, I'm not going to claim to be an expert on her old uniform. Um, as I mentioned on the last um, rage run with the old uniform. Um, you know, I asked some people about the, you know, uh, rotation. Nobody really seemed to know, especially with the tier three. Um, so I'm doing my best here. But at least, you know, you'll be able to get an idea of, like, where her damage lies. Now, again, I mentioned it in the last one, but it seems like, you know, so you could see the buff is actually being passed from her tier three to her fifth. If you use the fifth right after the tier three, there's a big spike in damage, if you notice. So I'm actually curious if that would work out with the new uniform as well, because I'm am doing this all you know a after the fact as I mentioned. So that that could be that could be something. But you see, you see that you see the spike in damage after the tier three on her fifth. So you know with just like with you know the the buff on her passive being applied, keeping the proc up more, you know in. It's just it's it's kind of difficult to to you know um, come up with a good rotation for an energy at least or just you know keep on it. So I I mean for the most part it kind of looks like spamming, but um, I think there's there's uh, there's some rhyme and reason to it. But there we go. We get the proc. So 320, 320, and I believe um, the. Energy on her new uniform was 330, so about 10 seconds faster um, on her new uniform. So the, the, there, there doesn't seem to be a, 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 a crazy difference going from her her old to her new in terms of an energy. But you saw the rage; that was just there was a huge difference. Um, I think I want to say it was over a minute. Um, I'll, I'll have to check. Yeah, no, it was like uh, 45 seconds. So I, I think it was 3:15 that that clocked in at with rage on her new uniform. So yeah, there, there's definitely a, a large divide there. It's not going to work out the same as as Namor, where the um, where the the old uniform is actually going to work out better because there's elemental damage. That's just not that, that's just not the case. Not the case at all. So there it is. I, I I got it all for you guys. I went the extra mile and I um, unequipped an additional CTP. So there there's been quite a few unequippings, and I'm still gonna be you know probably be putting judgment back on her. Right now she's she's ending with the rage. I did rage last, so that's that. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Now back to your broadcasting, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is the third squad battle run. Um, finally with a mighty energy, twenty percent. All attack. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, we want to wait for him to dash there. Okay, three, four. Ah, I don't know if we got it. I'm not sure if we got it. it it's funky. It's definitely funky with, um, we want to proc on the five. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we want to wait for, for this stuff. We should have it up now. Yep, okay. We definitely got it there. Proc on 
five. There we go. Nice. Yeah, this will definitely take some getting used to playing her with, um... Yeah, we, we, we missed it a little bit, but, you know, how, with how her skills are and how that buff is, it's... I don't know. There, there's going to be some times where you just you just miss it. And I'm going to wait here. I'm going to collect these guys. Yeah. She's just funky to play with it. She just is. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I'm not doing, like, the absolute best job um, playing her with this right now. It's just, like I said, I think it's just, you know, it's something that's going to take some getting used to. Get, get in here. We definitely got it here. That's for sure. I'm just, yeah, I'm going to cancel that four early to avoid. Okay, and of course, it's going to activate. <laughs> it's going to activate um, when you don't want it to, right? Well, at least here. Yeah, it's almost like you want you want a proc before the proc's done, which is complete opposite what, what you've been, uh, what you're used to doing. So, yeah, I don't know. I just don't think, I don't think energy is going to be good for at least, you know, I, I, for squad battle, I, I don't think so. It's either going to be a, a rage or a judgment proc. You know, like I said, depending on if you have pierce on your cards, um, the judgment looks like it's definitely going to be much better. I think judgment is actually going to end up on her. It's going to. So I, I think that's it, guys. I think we, um, oh, I got a free character. Let's let's see what we get here. Um, yeah, I, I think we did it all, right? We did it all. Initially, I wasn't go I wasn't gonna test her with uh, with energy because it seems like her skills, you know, they just she's just not built for an energy, and that seems to be the case. Um, for me, on my account, it seems like judgment is is gonna be the best, and it's not even it's not even really close either. It's not even really close. Um, I wonder if that's going to be the case for ABX as well. Um, so let's go and let's check. Let's check ABX where we're at. Man, I dropped drop some places there. I'm only like, what, less than, you know, well, yeah, less than 30,000, which isn't much, which isn't isn't a big increase from, you know, we're at 30,000 points. Um, it was a pretty good run, though, the run that I, that I did ran. The run that I ran, say that five times fast. Um, so I, I, I should be able to jump up, but you know, just because I have, so if you look at, so tomorrow, tomorrow is blast super villain and I have, I have a brilliant on moonstone. It's, it doesn't really have a good role. I wasn't getting lucky with the rolls, but it has beat down on it. And I'm, I, I suffer on this day and it's like, do I want to prefer her to perform better for null, easier null clear or score higher in ABX? I'll probably go ahead and roll that in, in, Depending on what I get, if I get a good roll that has high like beatdown on it, I'll keep it. If I get a good roll that has um, all attack on it, then I'll keep that. Um, but I might give it to Cable. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try for for like three more super successes. The next times two chance up is, and we'll we'll see what we get then. And then I'll make some changes on that note. Um, what did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to. Oh yeah, if we go to so I always try to do this with you guys. So if we go to story mode, I have a bunch of these chests here. You know, I don't know if you guys are actually getting these or not, but you can see what my luck is, right? In case you're wondering if you want to, you know, awaken a certain character or tier three a certain character. Um, okay, some TCP, not too shabby. I'd rather have, wow, another one of those. One more. I'd rather have the the fully awakened ISO. That's really what I, it's what my heart desires. And no, we didn't get it. And it's just garbage. Just straight up garbage. That's not really good. Not really good. Okay, what do we, how many do we have here? We have... I think we have more. Yeah, we have six here. I haven't been playing this every day. A six-star card? Nice. I have not been playing this every day. There's been some days that I miss. And um, in the, the, the first story mode, the shield one, I don't have... There's... Uh, I'm missing Elsa. And it seems like... More days than not that I actually don't even get the uh, the piece for it, but I usually I'll play that one first, and if I don't get it, I don't even bother playing the other ones, just because of the time. Even though it doesn't really take that long. Okay, one out of six. I don't know. Not really, not really that good. You know, according to me, one out of six. How many do we have here? 
We have five here. So let's see what we get. Okay, physical defense. Yeah, you can take you can take a, a long walk off a short bridge. Physical defense. I really don't need any of these. I mean, the attack ones are good. Another physical defense. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. HP. I could actually use the HP now. So, um, and another one. Okay. All right. Whatever. All right. And, and by the way, so I was thinking about doing rogue PVP, but I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that for, for another. I'll make a separate video on that. It'll probably be on the shorter side. Um, I may, maybe fill it with some other stuff. There's some other stuff that I've been wanting to get to. But who knows? Maybe I'll just make you know a short one, which is dedicated to her PvP, and uh, and see what that's all about. But that's it, guys. That's it. Thank you for watching. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. That's not it. I have okay. So for those who don't like the 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 you know the comments, the account roast. Thank you for watching. Because if this isn't your bag, then um, you know you might not want to stick around for this. But I have. So I actually only have I have one comment and one account lookup. That we're gonna do here today and as I mentioned what we're gonna do is I think I'm just gonna dedicate a whole video to doing that maybe like one a week uh, maybe on like Sunday or something or it just might be a random day throughout the week that will actually do that so let's uh, let's get to it here the first okay that comments is not pulling up for me okay I'll be right back all right, I know what happened I had to I had to restart my stream labs it was acting funny actually there was an update and I had to like redownload the update in any case here we are I got the uh, so the first comment is uh, uh, Igor uh, he says hey Zilla how's your day going it's going pretty good so far thank you for asking uh, I just wanted to ask if you're playing if you're if you're gambling on those CTP uh, P card chats from time to time and if you are I would like you maybe to record this eventually just to show us the odds uh, and whether it's worth it or not I am personally planning on Spending 60, 67, 50 uh, crystals when there it will be a guaranteed energy, but I'm not sure what else to expect. Okay, so that is that's actually one of the reasons why I did this in the video. Um, I planned on doing it anyways. I wanted to grab another energy, uh, maybe for uh, you know like doing four super successes for the brilliant next time it rolls around. Uh, I think I have enough now because I, I have a CTP selector. But in any case, um, so yeah, I, I did that, and, I, and you know, not just for you, but you know, for everybody. But you know, you kind of put the idea in, in my head uh, in, in a way. Um, so yeah, there. I, I, I hope that helps you out. You know, we got one greed, and we got we got one energy going to pity. I always, I, I say this: always assume, assume that you're going to have to go to pity in order in order to get it. So, you know, this way, you know, if you get it before then, then, you know, you're, you're, you're pleasantly surprised. But if not, then you're not let down. All right, next up. Uh, so Harsh Betty says, please give me some suggestions. Which uh, character to, to tier three or awaken next? And he gives me his IGN. And by the way, if, you know, uh, for those who want me to look up their account, if you actually have a specific question like this, I'm, I'll be more encouraged to actually look up your account. So let's let's pull this guy's account up and see what we got going on. And here we go. We were at Harsh Betty's account here. Um, so he, he asked me what character to tier three or, or awaken next. Um, he didn't necessarily ask me to look at his cards, but while we're here, we'll go and we'll check that out. Okay, so this isn't a bad roll. Um, you can have the uh, the physical or energy attack. I, I believe where the crit rate is on that though. Um, this card. Uh, so yeah, if you don't have a whole lot of premium cards, like this actually isn't a bad roll where right? you have the attack speed and all attack. Um, it's kind of lower on the quality, but you could. I mean, you could probably go ahead and start crafting this. It, you know, that's if you don't have a whole lot of you know P card options. I don't. Know, maybe you have some in inventory, but you're just trying to get about a better roll on them. And then this isn't all that bad either. Again, you know, depending on what your options are, it all depends on where your account is. You know, uh, you know how many P cards you have stacked up. Um, that will that will give you either the go ahead or or you know not so much on actually going ahead and, and crafting cards. But let's see what what your stats look like. Um, I mean, you have you have high ignore defense. You could probably even afford to lose a little bit. And then on the cooldown, you could probably lose like you know a little like like you could you could lose five percent on the cooldown. And you uh, in the ignore defense. I mean that this actually isn't a bad card, but it doesn't really have a good roll on it. Like, you know, if you had a different card that had just like more attack, you know, I'm not sure how concerned you are about PvP, but I mean from looks of it, it looks you know your your cards look look pretty decent. Okay, and uh, let's see, tier three or awaken next. Okay, so for awakening, um, I, okay, Moonstone first and foremost. 
Uh, so it would be like Moonstone, Gambit, and after Gambit, maybe um, Bullseye. Th those those would be my, my choices on who to awaken, uh, who to awaken next. And then uh, tier three, I mean, Rogue's really good. Um, I'll be testing her uh, maybe in like another video. I'll be testing her against Thor, some people asking that. Um, so we'll see who's better on that note. So, I mean, Rogue seems, Rogue seems really good. I mean, I, I'd say you could even go for... You could even go for for rogue. Um, I mean, who who are you missing? Let me look at my team. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'd say I'd say probably I, I'd say you could probably even go for rogue unless unless I'm, unless I'm oh hang on a second. No 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 I don't want to do that. Um, yeah okay you have Sharon Rogers. Uh, yeah I'd, I'd say I'd say you could probably even go go for rogue. Go for rogue. Why not? Don't go for broke. Go for rogue. Yeah, she seems to be she seems to be really good. Like I said, you know, I'll be testing her. You know, maybe wait until the next video or one of the next videos where I actually test her against. <clears throat> I'll test her against Thor, and I'll I'll test her against some other characters, and we'll we'll see exactly where she's coming up. Um, I feel like I'm I'm missing I'm missing somebody for you to. Oh, Cable, Cable, do you have Cable? No, I I definitely I do Cable. Yeah, that's who I'm missing. That's who I'm missing. So yeah, I'd say uh, Moonstone, Gambit, Bullseye. That would be my order for 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 Awakening, and then Cable, and 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 then and then Rogue. Um, but yeah, I'll be making a video testing her, see exactly where she falls into the meta, and and then maybe you can make your decision based on that note. Um, and as far as like, okay, I mean you, you've watched my other videos. I'm not gonna go through and you know I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over again to to a lot of players. You know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like an account building video and then this way, you know, you guys can get an idea of what you should do and what and exactly what you shouldn't do. And I'll and I'll try to make it pretty pretty broad and encompassing to cover, you know, many different aspects of, you know, building characters to try to hit on all points there. Um, but yeah, I mean right here like I wouldn't do this, you know the, the the Odin's blessings on a character that you have like a regen on other than the heal Odin's blessings when you, and you, Okay, and you have Odin's blessings on a character that you don't even have a CTP on it I mean this really for him like guard break dodge once okay that like That might be good for Quicksilver for like some kind of like PvP slash PvE um, content, but yeah, I wouldn't do. I'd give it to a character like like Moon Knight here. I'd transfer all those Odin's blessings over to him. He's gonna do way more work for you as far as being a physical attacker. And what do you have on Sharon Rogers? Okay, uh, and then like okay, well, let me, what do you got on Jean? I'm guessing you probably yep. You got more Odin's blessings on her. Give those to Sharon Rogers. She'll do better for you. Or or like Ghost Rider. Give them to him. But in any case, okay, that's it, guys. Um, I hope to see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll be bringing you some Rogue PVP action, and I think the buff for like uh for like a mighty um like a mighty ctp would actually be uh made of better use applied to uh, a forged um regen i think i think it i think that could you know if it, if it stacks on that and it makes that even better then i think i think that will be um where her buff becomes very valuable and, and in a place so stay tuned for the next one and you stay breezy but most of all you stay safe out there friend Peace.